Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul, and we are here with another Game of Thrones battle for you. The Battle of the Bells, as you probably could tell from the name of the title. Um, but this is a major battle during Robert's Rebellion, um, which obviously is just before the Game of Thrones um, series. And this took part in the Stony Sept, um, also known as the Battle of Stony Sept. And it's between House Targaryen or, and her allies and uh, Robert Baratheon, who at the time was hiding out in the Stony Sept, fleeing from uh, from the Targaryen forces. And the these allied forces do come to his aid in uh, and try and help him. So we kind of we've got Robert back here. He's hiding. At, he won't probably take part anyway. But he's basically he's represented just there because you've got to have Bobby B on the battlefield. But he's uh, just hiding out in here. I have the Targaryen forces over here. Um, slightly smaller force, but um, still a good match. They are being represented by the Unsullied, so they are a very good force. Fortunately, we still don't really have any Targaryen units um, for like post, uh, well, no, pre uh, Game of Thrones. It's just unfortunate. But we have plenty of uh, houses here representing uh, Robert Baratheon. We have uh, House Tully. We have House Stark, some House Bolton, because, you know, I thought, you got to bring the uh, Bolton Tower Spearmen with you. These guys with their huge shields, for some reason, they've got to be here. And then House uh, Aaron is also here. So, and obviously, House Baratheon, I forgot to say. So, we'll uh, unpause, and we will uh, we'll get on with the battle, really. Um, so, I'm probably just going to put all the cav out here. It's going to be... I'm going to put the, the... We'll put the Northmen. They can take the front line. Uh, actually, we probably don't need that many, so we'll probably just put them there. Northland in behind. Um, we'll have House Tully can take the lead. They can all go down the go down the road. Um, we'll have House Aaron with its archers to help support. And then we've got reserves ready just in case. So we'll probably put these two Northman units. To defend here in case anything comes on this flank so the plan is just to basically where are you going get over there <laughs> I do not want you in this battle um, or in this little bit of a fight anyway so we've got a reserve we've got uh, what are you oh some guard spearmen that's fine not too fussed about that um, oh these guys are definitely gonna get charged um, House Tully may not want to charge forward just quite yet. We're gonna get gonna get a charge here, men. Brace, brace. Oh god, where are they gonna go? Here they go. House Dane, one of the Dornish factions which sided with House Targaryen, has brought its cavalry and it's charging in. So let's see how well they can do. So we'll send in some uh, spears to help deal with them. Um, these guys can go in. Some more cavalry going in here. Looks like they're gonna actually dare and attack me here. With all my cavalry there, they're going to attack with one unit of cavalry. That is a shame. Um, I mean, we've got all this Tully stuff back here. We might as well send it in. Um, House Aaron, do you want to start firing some volleys? Why has House Aaron got all its archers over there? Well, I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. So it's becoming a massive choke point. Um, I'm not really sure how the Battle of the Bells really like how it was fought, but um, in this in this scenario, it's going to end up down one huge street. This is a Battle of the Bells uh, map. If you want to ever use it yourself, you are, I will put the link in the description. And we're just rounding up those last few Dane cavalry. That is perfectly fine by me. And we're going to just watch as the chaos ensues. Really, um, I have missed Game of Thrones. I will admit. It, I'm having withdrawal symptom, uh, symptoms, even though it, even though it was pretty awful at the end, um, I am missing it. I am missing seeing let the Lannisters fight in the Starks, and or just about anyone by the end of it. Uh, they were just <laughs> they were fighting everyone and everyone. It was they never expected to win. I'm sure. But I mean, look at this solid line here that we've got going on of uh, infantry. This is. Pretty impressive. That is some chaos in there. I'm happy 
I'm happy that we're back with uh, the Seven Kingdoms mod. They've got some pikes in here to have those. They might actually help. They might t sway, uh, turn the tide a little bit. Okay, they've got some cavalry in behind me. Interesting. Right, we're going to have to mobilize some uh, some infantry to help get rid of them. I did not realize. How do they get through? Oh, they're going through here. Okay, so we may need to send forward some reserves. Um, some tullies might need to get mobilized over there. Um, they're also flanking me here, so we may need to deal with them here as well. That is that is troubling, but we are see sorting out these uh, problems here. These Dane cavalry will not last long, fighting the uh, the brave Baratheon guardsmen and their spears as well. So that's definitely going to sort them out. Perfect, right? Um, you can now go over there. You're going to be needed there. Um, oh, we have Ned Stark. Of course, we could use him. Enemy units have rallied. Well, that's fine. Oh, and we've got some major, major... Oh, this is all cavalry here. Well, we can deal with that as well. Um, you just go in. Start fighting. But, I mean, all, the, all of this, like, infantry back here, this is just expecting to win. I mean, it's kind of like house to house fighting here, actually. They're all, like, sort of hiding in the houses. Which I'm sure there was some sort of house to house house to house fighting. I'm it's a pretty bloody affair, and it looks like uh, we have um, Barris and Selmy as the general. He has got his Dothraki riders again. Here he is. Um, he's very bloodied up. He's he should probably get out of there. The AI, AI should probably tell him to get out. But um, yeah, that is. He's right on the front line. He's really risking his life. I wouldn't be surprised if he dies. Alright, so you need to go in and fight. Uh, we're going to send... Well, why not? Let's send Ned in. Bobby B as well. Bobby B can go in. Send him in. We've got reserves. We don't need them. Let's have a look at him. Yes, our general is being attacked, but he's going into battle. Where is he? Am I Am I actually Bobby B? Here he is. The brave man. What a brave man. I expect nothing less from him. It's time to uh, for him to risk his life if he wants to be king. Oh, don't do that. Go in there, please. Where is he? Here he is. Oh, he's pretty bloodied up already. Not so good, but he has to risk his life. For his kingdom. Uh, let's mobilize these guys. Because why not? Uh, let's bring forward this, all the uh, Boltons. We had them for a reason. Let's send them up. Are they going to flank me? I'll flank them. Um, the cavalry has done its job. Uh, hey, what have they got over here? They've got unsleeved swords. I'm not so fussed about that. I'm just going to keep my cavalry here. It's kind of done its job. I'm not really... I don't want to uh, surround them just yet. We'll see how this goes. See whether it's need, needed. I'm not sure where they are. their archers are. I think... Oh, they're here. Okay, that was interesting by them. I don't know quite what they were doing. Let's see where, where's Ned. Where's Ned in all this chaos? Here he is. He's not so quite bloodied up. and he's getting, But he's getting his fair share of the kills. Excellent. Good to see. Right. Get in there, Starks. Stark Spearman holding back the unsullied swords. Representing House Targaryen. Uh, even it'd be, it'd be great if we could have some uh, guardsmen for House Targaryen. That would be great. Just to like represent that, that pre-Targaryen era. Or pre Game of Thrones era, sorry, not pre Targaryen era. That would inc involve them, uh, <laughs> them not being around, which they're always around to the Targaryens in some form. There we go. Right, let's get these guys in, in and fighting. There's some pretty bloody. Uh, Archer, look at those archer volleys. They're going in there, just like getting some nice kills. 
wounding anyone that's in there. Is Barrison Selmy still alive? Who's representing John Connington is the uh, leader of these forces. He unfortunately, he lo when he loses this battle, he does lose his titles and just about every privilege he has and gets exiled. So it's never good. Uh, but that's a risk you have to play when you're uh, being ruled by a mad king, I guess. And there's a quite a lag spike when going in here. There's a lot of troops in this small area. But I mean, Bobby B, he's doing his bit. He's fighting his, uh, fighting the good fight. I'm sure he's getting some kills. And we'll soon surround all these men. Look at all these guys here. We'll send in the first unit, shall we? Shall we send in these Tullies that are here? They can go in. Look at all these. We've got some uh, gold cloak crossbows back here, represent representing uh, their like sort of cav, and they are they're not doing much. Oh my gosh, Barris and Selmy, yeah, do not charge in, pal. Oh, he is. Okay, I can't. I would like to have kept this battle going longer, but because generals break so quickly, uh, he is definitely going to die here, Barris and Selmy. This is he sent his own. He made his own death sentence here. It was not my decision to do this. Yes, I, I thought he might have been. We might as well send the cab in. Actually, no, no, let's not send the cab in. The cab's done its bit. You pull back here, cavalry. It's going to come down to an infantry draw. Um, brawl, thank you. Here we go, the big spears. A uh, big shield, sorry. They don't actually have that big spears. They're very big shields, though. Here we go, the Boltons. I love seeing these guys. They're so funny. I know they're like pretty deadly in the series, but they're just so funny. How could you see what you're doing with that size shield? Like you'd be like, oh god, there's someone in front of me. I didn't expect that. I never saw you there. It looks like some of the Unsullied are retreating now. But it's pretty bloody. Look how many guys are dead from just archer fire. Pretty ridiculous. How's the little fight going on over here? It's going on okay. The Baratheons are going to close in this little uh, noose. Look at them. Oh, we have men breaking. Interesting. Who broke? The generals broke. Oh, Bobby B, he's breaking. He's alive. But he is breaking. Interesting. Bobby B is having a pull back. I'll keep him there for now. Bobby B, you've done your bit. Now rally the men. Rally all the men. You've done your bit. Now uh, stay there and just don't mess around. These pikes are holding off quite well against my uh, my spearmen. How many men have they lost? Not many, though. They've not actually killed many. Um, start killing these guys. Here we go. Right. Who are you shooting? You're shooting just about anyone and everyone. Right, let's just kill the final lot of this these guys off. They are They're not really turning around to deal with the problem. The Battle of the Bells is uh, certainly going to follow history and Robert Baratheon is going to win again. I mean he basically wins every battle he fights and anyway he only loses one, which is the Battle of Ashwood, which I have also done on the channel. I'm sure I'll leave some sort of link to it. If you want to check that one out. The Bolton's fighting on well. I mean, look at these. Even the Unsullied can't beat these shields. They're insane. I'm pretty sure they have some sort of special formation. Oh, they have a stationary test unit. They have square. I thought they could form like some sort of circle like they could in the film, uh, in, the, in the series, but maybe not. Oh well, um, but I mean, look at that. We're, we've broken these guys. Um, we might as well just send them in there to kill these pikes off. Or I could. Where do they get in? Uh, not really. They, I mean, they'd have to go that way. Don't really trust the, the cavalry to go in and destroy those pikes. So I'm, I'm happy letting them survive. I mean, there's a lot of. Look at all these arrows raining down now. I'm sure many of the King's Guard died uh, that are defending Robert died from friendly fire.
But here we go. We can just enjoy as we watch House Tully on House Stark on the front lines defend against this Targaryen force. And some Danes. There are some Danes in there still. They're the only faction in the Game of Th in this Game of Thrones squad that actually stays loyal to the Targaryens, and uh, is then represented. All the other ma all the other houses that support the Targaryens basically either got killed off, um, so they never feature in the Game of Thrones, or um, turn change sides at the last minute, a bit like the Lannisters. But it's not looking good for the rear guard. How much stuff's breaking now? A fair amount. There aren't many units left. There are not many men left either. We're going to just tell the archers to hold the fire. They're not needed anymore. Um, you do that. Oh, they're coming in to charge here. They're coming in for a sneaky little attack. Well, we're going to we'll get the cavalry to deal with them. Here we go. Prepare for some hundreds of thundering hooves. Good God, the Aaron Knights and the Baratheon cavalry as well. We're running these men down. No mercy. John Connington's long dead. He's probably better dead than being exiled at this point. Um, cavalry pullback. I don't really want you to get involved in this fight. It's been quite enjoyable watching them fight on their own. The infantry. More enjoyable. Very nice kill there. And the small pikes being sent forward. They may have just broken and returning. But they're being sent into the front lines. They're pushing the Tullys back ever so slightly. You can see where the fighting started. And then where it's kind of like gone since then. We've massively pushed them forwards. And there we go. A massive break. And I think that's probably going to be it. That is it. Huge break by the Targaryens. So that is the Battle of the Bells. It has been another victory for the... Uh, for Bobby B or Robert Baratheon um, and it's followed history so we'll end the battle and we'll uh, we'll see what uh, the scores were like so I mean they were massively outnumbered but that was how it was in history it was the uh, the Starks and the um, Arons were the ones that kind of and the Tullys kind of like jumped on a huge uh, Targaryen force I thought bring in some Baratheons as well just because you know Robert Baratheon's here. You've got to represent him as well. So, I mean, there's some good kills for um, the cavalry. Actually, no, not for the cavalry. Where, where are the cavalry? Here. Actually, no, they're not the cavalry either. They're the cavalry. They did okay, actually. They didn't do that great. I mean, they just they only have to fight cavalry. But, I mean, like, the Tully Swords down here doing insanely well. Getting 207 kills, 223 kills. These were the spearmen, actually. Um... Starks doing very well as well, getting 100 kills, 127, 124, some very good uh, scores there. Boltons, who did join the battle late, got 108 kills, that's insane. I mean, I'm sure many of them were actually for retreating men, but still. Um, obviously, the Unsullied did not do fair off so well, unfortunately, but um, that is just unfortunate. They just kind of got pinned down in a choke point. This is the AI, it just fell for the trap. But... Uh, that's how it went, really. Well, that's not how it necessarily went in history, but that's how the Battle of the Bells has been remade, recreated. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you are new around here, please leave a like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to see another Game of Thrones battle or just a, any old any battle that you'd like to see historically recreated to some degree by my by myself. Um, and anyway, Legionnaires, if you've enjoyed, please like I said, leave a like and subscribe. And until next time. Bye for now.